Okay, first off, I am fucking done of these motherfuckers getting all the credit. I mean, I get it. Dragonite and all them, they're all great. Triantatar, Salamence, Metagross, Garchomp, Hydrogen, Kundra, and Komomo. I'm not saying they're not good, but don't the don't some other Pokemon deserve to be pseudo legendaries here? Seriously, that's what we're gonna get to cover today. Today I'm gonna be listing my list for pseudo legendaries. So let's get started. Ba -da -ba -ba! Hey everybody, it's your boy the Tater Meister here. Woo and I got a really special video for y'all today. If you didn't tell by the intro, so I've been playing Pokemon a lot lately, as you see if you've seen me play Pokemon Leaf 3. I've also been playing Red, a lot of other games. And I've noticed it's it's really weird. There's there's only eight pseudo legendaries, but there's like fifty legendaries. How does that make any fucking sense? I mean, seriously, there should be way more pseudo legendaries than there are. I mean there's like 700 Pokemon you're telling me only 8 of them are worthy enough to be pseudo-legendary? I find that a little fucking retarded, honestly, but so I decided, hey, I'm gonna do a special video and I'm gonna make my own fucking list of what I think the Pokemon that deserve to be pseudo-legendaries so this is gonna be Tate's pseudo-legendary list, that's what I'm gonna make to title this video, so Pokemon that deserve to be pseudo-legendary, so I've, I've added 17 Pokemon to add to the 8 Pokemon we already got on there 17, of, one of each type, so, if you know, you can comment down below what you think, if what Pokemon you agree with, what Pokemon you don't really agree with, and we're gonna see just, just how accurate my list is, because honestly, I think this is the most accurate fucking list I've made in, in ever in my fucking life, but, anyway, so, noting there's gonna be three steel types and three flying types on this list, so, just a little heads up, but, because they're dual typing, but, you know, anyway, so, and only one dragon type. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna spoil too much. Let's get on with the video, shall we? Uh, what the? Why does it do that? All right. So to kick off our list, we got a Haxorus. Woohoo! So Haxorus is pretty much my favorite um, Gen 5 Pokemon, and not only that, he's my favorite Dragon type. And honestly, he's so much better than the other dragons. Honestly, not only is he one of the best design of the dragons, but the fact that unlike the other dragons, he doesn't even have wings. I mean, that's just how badass uh, freaking Haxorus is. He doesn't even fucking wings. I mean, seriously, this motherfucker is badass. And not only that, he, unlike the the other Gen the other Gen Five Dragon type, which is a uh, Dragon Dragon, yeah, he does. He's not as weak to Fairy, so it makes him a lot better. He's not as weak to Ice like the other dragons are either. So unlike Dragonite and and Dragon, he's a, le a little harder to beat. And he has really good stats. He actually has higher attack and special attack than Dragon does. So pretty freaking cool. And I don't really get why he's not a pseudo-legendary at all, honestly, because oh, most dragon types are pseudo-legendaries, except Haxorus, which doesn't really make any sense to me, because Haxorus is such a fucking badass Pokemon. He's literally the best Gen 5 Pokemon. In fact, if it weren't for Haxorus, freaking, I mean, <laughs> let's be honest, I mean, freaking Gen 5 would have sucked. I mean, it's just, he's such a freaking badass Pokemon. But now we're going to move on to our next Pokemon, so here we go. Alright, so you kind of had this coming, guys. Get ready. For the water type pseudo legendary. Give me one sec. Uh, Gyarados! <laughs> well, this was pretty obvious. You knew Gyarados was going to be on this list, so I had to get the obvious out of the way. Gyarados pretty much is the OG water type. I mean, not only is he the most popular water type in the series, but the fact that he can learn so many freaking moves, and the fact that he literally only has one weakness electric, that's it. Now, noting that, you know, what about, what, you could say, what about Manti and what about Pelipper? Well, Manti and Pelipper do not have the stats and freaking abilities like Gyarados does. I mean, Gyarados is freaking OP. I mean, <laughs> seriously, he can learn certain moves. And Pelipper and Manti can't Mega Evolve. I mean, have I shown you freaking Gyarados' Mega Evolution? Let me just go over there real quick. Um, that's, that's Haxorus, sorry. Uh, no, I have Haxorus. Okay. Yeah, this is Gyarados' Mega Evolution over here. Hold on. Um. Uh, yeah, he's pretty freaking, uh, you know, pretty freaking gigantic. Yeah, he's a water dark type, so. Gyarados is truly have amazing stats, he has amazing powers, and literally, if he, if he's almost a dragon! I mean, literally, he can learn dragon moves, he looks like a fucking dragon. I mean, I don't understand how he's not a dragon type. I don't even know how I understand he's not a pseudo-legendary at all. That kind of boggles my mind, considering he can beat most of the pseudo-legendaries, so. But anyway, so... That 
should know that water types do though. Now we're gonna move on to our next guy here. Give me one sec, guys. I fucking stop doing that shit. No. Alright guys, before I move on, I just want to say that there's not going to be any starters or EV evolutions on this list. I just wanted to point that out before I continued, but... Because, mainly because I feel like starters and EV evolutions, so many people have different types, so I don't really feel like that's fair to put them on the list. I don't think they count as the legendaries because so many people have different ones, so... And besides, people are going to get mad, oh, why is he on the list? Why is my starter on the list? You know, why is my EV evolution on the list? So, I can't really put them on there because it's just not fair. I'm putting, and I can't put Troll Pokemon on either, like Wobbuffet. I can't put Wobbuffet on here because, or like, Sableye. Because honestly, those, and Rattata. Because obviously, those are freaking Troll Pokemon. So, I'm not going to put them on the list either. They don't count. So, let me continue. Alright, guys. Moving on to our pick for the Fire-type Legendary, eh, Pseudo-Legendary. Well, I'll show you in a sec. Dun, 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 dun. Drum roll, please. <laughs> this was pretty obvious, honestly. Arcanine! Honestly, I, I think everybody was expecting this. <laughs> Arcanine. Hold on, give me a sec, guys. Uh, move it over to the right. Does that make, is that better? Alright. So, Arcanine is pretty much OP. <laughs> he has, the, the out of all the fire types, Arcanine has the highest stats, which is just insane. I mean, it's kind of hard to believe he's not a pseudo-legendary, in all honesty. I mean, in fact, he's more powerful than Charizard and Tysplosion when it comes to stats. Well, they have certain stats that are better than his, but... Still pretty impressive. I mean, as far as base stats go, I think he has like 550 base stats or some ridiculous amount. I don't fucking know, but... Arcanine is one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. And pretty much my second favorite fire type after Ty Explosion. He is a motherfucking beast. I mean, what is there not to like about it? He's a giant fucking flaming god. What more do you want? I mean, <laughs> seriously. And he's so freaking popular. Like, he's amazing. Like, who doesn't want an Arcanine on their team, honestly? I mean, he's fucking dope, but... Not about Arcanine, because I'm going to be blabbing about him forever, so let's move on to the next guy, shall we? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Moving on to the normal type pseudo legendary. Now, I am probably going to get a little hate for this one. And no, it's not Snorlax. So, I'm not putting Snorlax because he's just... Honestly, Snorlax is kind of overrated, so... The pseudo legendary for the normal type is... Now, this was a pretty obvious choice for me, honestly, because, think about it, Porygon Z is one of the hardest Pokemon to get in this series. I mean, not only do you have to get Porygon by either training or getting lucky by getting him, but then you have to trade him twice with special items that cost 64 battle points to get. I mean, it's just ridiculous how hard it is to get Porygon Z, but when you finally do get him, he is fucking worth the wait, let me fucking tell you. I mean, Porygon Z, not only does he have one of the best designs as far as Pokemon go, but he has some of the best abilities, the best moves, the best stats, and overall, he's just a total badass. Now, you better be careful, and the thing is, fighting types got about my top time with him because he can learn a lot of psychic moves, so. The thing is, I think Porygon Z has the biggest move set other than Mew and Smurble. I mean, Porygon Z can learn so many freaking moves, it's just not even fair, honestly, but. And his ability is awesome, too, so Porygon Z definitely takes a spot for pseudo legendary for normal type for me. He is the best design one, and, the be and honestly, the only normal type that I think I could beat him is Regigigas. And possibly Snorlax with the Z move, but... Alright, Snorlax is an honorable mention, though. Snorlax is probably the second best after, after Porygon Z. So let's move on to the next guy, shall we? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Moving on to... The pick for the electric type Pseudo-Legendary. This was a pretty obvious choice for me, and honestly, and for, uh, uh, I'm just going to tell you who it is. Get ready. Ampharos! Alright, so Ampharos is pretty much one of the best Gen 2 Pokemon, if not the best, honestly. I mean, <laughs> Ampharos is the mother effing shit. <laughs> okay, let's be honest. When you fight, when I finally got Ampharos in gold, I pretty much kicked everybody's ass with her, honestly. And, the and let's look at our Mega Evolution real quick, hold on. Okay, so let's go back. Oh, what'd I do? Uh oh. Shit. Get me out of here. Look. Oh, give me one sec, guys. Alright, so this is Mega Ampharos, and honestly, <laughs> Mega Ampharos is a dope ass looking fuck. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Just look at her. She's freaking dope. 
She probably is one of the best Mega Evolutions in, in the entire series. I mean, Ampharos was already OP, but Mega Ampharos is a dragon type, so think about this. I mean, Mega Ampharos is pretty much a badass, and definitely worthy of, Ampharos is definitely worthy of being a legendary because of her of Mega Evolution, so. I mean, what's not to love about Mega, what, what's not to love about Ampharos in general? She's just an amazing electric type, the best electric type. She is dope, alright. And I like Raichu too, but honestly, Ampharos could always will always beat Raichu. That's just my opinion. What do I say? What about Electivire? Well, I didn't put Mamertar on the list either, so shut the fuck up. Anyway, so that's my pick for the electric type. So let's move on to our next pick. So now we move on to the pick for the pseudo legendary ghost type. Now this one was kind of hard because there was a lot of ghost types, and no, it's not Dusnoir. Hint: This is the only Gen Six Pokemon on this list. And yes, Tyler, you know who it is. Angle slash, angle slash, angle slash, baby, angle slash, yeah. Or however you ever pronounce it, angle slash, Aggie slash. I, I never caught this guy before. So basically, yeah, Aegislash slash is one of the best Pokemon ever, and he's also a Gen Say. I mean, just look at him—he's a sword and a shield. What more do you want? Like he's freaking dope looking as hell. And he's a Steel Ghost type, so that means he's able to beat so many things. His typing is excellent. And yeah, I know there's three, three Steel types on this list. Sorry, but I just wanted to get this out of the way. Because look, just he's one of the best designed Pokemon. One of the coolest Pokemon. And one of the best moveset. One of the... Just awesome. Okay, Angle Slash is dope. And I wish I had one. I really want to get, get the first evolution so I can have evolve into this guy. Because, gee. A Steel Ghost type. What more do I want, honestly? Gee, that is awesome, but... Anyway, so we're moving on to the next guy real quick. Now, yeah, this guy was a pretty obvious choice for me. I mean, for a lot of people. Okay. So, I might get a tidbit of hate for this, because I know he's kind of an overrated Pokemon, but he's one of my favorites, and he's one of many people's favorites. So, the choice for the fighting type pseudo-legendary, I'm going to show you. One sec. Look, 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 Lucario has always been my favorite fighting type, and honestly, <laughs> he's a beast. Where do I begin? I could talk a whole hour, but I want to try to summarize my love for Lucario, <laughs> honestly. I mean, what is there not to love about Lucario? I, I just, I mean, who could hate this Pokemon? I just want to know. Like, <laughs> I don't know anybody that hates Lucario. I mean, seriously. If you hate Lucario, there's something wrong with you, honestly, but... Lucario is simply the best fighting type for many reasons. He has the power to beat Fairy. He has the power to beat... He's great against Rock types. He's great against Bug types. He's just great against everybody. The only thing that he's really weak to is Ground, Fire, and Biting, which... I mean... He has moves to beat most of those, so... And let me be honest. Lucario has the best Mega Form. I mean, look at this shit. <laughs> Fucking Mega Lucario! I mean, Mega Lucario is the toughest looking Mega Evolution. I mean, look at this shit. And he's all... He's probably, I, it's scary to say that I think he's the very first Mega Evolution. I mean, look at that! <laughs> Mega, Mega Lucario is the best looking book, And he's probably the best one. I mean, fucking Mega Lucario. Like, like, Lucario is just amazing. There is nothing more for me to say. I just want to summarize my look for Mother Effin Lucario. Okay? He is the Mother Effin shit. So, anyway, let's move on to our next choice. Give me one sec here. You know, before I go on, it's so cool that I'm doing a Pokemon video like this. I love doing videos other than Let's Plays, because honestly, it's really fun. So, let's move on. Alright, so the choice for the Steel-type Pseudo-Legendary, and like I said, Managross and Tyranitar are not going to be on the list, because they're already Pseudo-Legendaries. These are Pseudo-Legendaries I'm adding, so... Here we go. The Steel-type Pseudo-Legendary. And I think he's the only, one of the only Gen 3s on this list. And maybe the only one. I don't remember. Give me a sec. Yeah, this guy is the only Gen 3 Pokemon on the list. So, the pick for the best, the number one Steel type, the pseudo-legendary Steel type is Agron! Agron. Anyway, so, 
Why did they go on the, my pseudo legendary pick for Steel type? Well, look, just look at him. He's dope. I mean, <laughs> he's just a dope ass Steel type. When you think of Steel type, you usually think of Steelix or this guy. And the reason I put in Steelix is because Agron has higher stats. So, and I want to put a Gen three on the list. Hey, why not Agron? Because Agron pretty much is the most popular Gen three Pokemon. I mean. Be honest, when Aegon comes out and Pokemon Go, everybody's gonna want one. Come on now. Who doesn't want a fucking giant dinosaur steel type on their fucking team? I mean, come on now. He's freaking dope. And if you think that's dope, look at his fucking Mega Evolutions. A pure steel type. So there's, only, there's only three or four pure steel types, but I think Aegon's probably the best pure steel type in the game. Mega Aegon, so. The other pure steel types are. Let me just look up real quick. Hold on. Yeah, I think it's Card Bank. But nobody wants a fucking Card Bank. I mean. Fuck Card Bank. I mean, look at this little bitch. She wants a freaking clink a clang at. Well, clink a clang. Who wants a freaking clink a clang when you get a freaking Mega Agron? I mean, Mega Agron's dope, okay? So that's just what I'm gonna say about Agron, okay? Agron is the best, and that's just how it is. He's the best Steel type. So, that's my pick for Steel types. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? Okay, so my pick for the Psychic type Legendary. Well, you know, kinda, I know this was pretty obvious, because he's one of my favorite Pokemon. It is So yeah, why is Alakazam my psychic type pseudo legendary pick? Pretty obvious why he's a she should be a pseudo legendary. I mean, have you used an Alakazam before? <laughs> they are OP, and getting them is hard because not only you have to catch an Abra, which is really hard to catch an Abra, but then you have to evolve Kadabra, then you have to trade Kadabra to get Alakazam. But he is totally fucking worth it when you do get him. Because let me tell you. When I, got Alakazam, when I got Alakazam in red, I pretty much just destroyed everybody with him. I mean, <laughs> once you get Alakazam in, in red, you pretty much win the game. Either that or Mew. But Alakazam definitely deserves it. Because, I mean, look at his Mega Evolution. He has, like, fucking infinity spoons in his hands. And he looks like a freaking guru. Whoa! His stats are off the charts, man. Holy shit. But I love Alakazam. He's definitely worthy of being a pseudo legendary, in my opinion. And that's just that. So... See y'all later. Let's go to the next pseudo legendary. So my pick. All right. So this is my pick for the dark type pseudo legendary. And it's weird because a lot of people thought he was a legendary for a while, but he's actually not. So he's a really dope looking Pokemon. He's an amazing Pokemon. And my pick for the dark type is Zorark. 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 Okay. So why is Zorark a dark type pseudo a dark type pseudo legendary? Well, because uh, he. I mean, he's Zorark. Do I really need to explain? I mean, for a while, people thought he was a legendary, so it doesn't make sense why he's not a pseudo, honestly. He should be, because he is Zoroark. So, I'm not even going to explain this. I mean, this is pretty fucking obvious, so let's just move on to the next one, shall we? All right. All righty, right, all right. So, my pick for the poison pseudo legendary, and this one's pretty obvious, too. Oh, boy, I guess who it is. It's Crobat. ba da ba ba I'm Crobat. ba da ba da ba I'm Crobat. Okay. So, Crobat was a pretty easy choice for me. I mean, think about it. Crobat's OP, and he was OP even before Gen 6 came out. When Gen 6 came out, he became even more OP. He's a poison flying type. You know how OP that is? I mean, <laughs> he's just ridiculous. He's awesome. I mean, honestly. The only thing is, don't use him against Psychic or Rock types or Electric types, but he's pretty much good against everything else. So, I love Crobat. He's an amazing, he's probably my second favorite flying type, and I just love him. He's dope. A lot of people forget that Gyarados is a flying type. I always forget, because he doesn't learn any flying moves. So, but Crobat can. Crobat's the shit. He can learn He can learn so many fucking moves. He's awesome. I love Crobat. Everybody loves Crobat. Who doesn't love Crobat? Crobat's awesome. All right, so let's move on to the next guy. All right, everybody. So now we're moving on to the bug type side of pseudo-legendary. And honestly, this was a really hard decision, too. But actually, it wasn't super hard, because I use this guy a lot. And... He's probably my third favorite fighting type, and he's just an awesome bug type. And no, it's not Pinsir, it's not Scizor. I didn't want to put too many steel types on the list, so. Our pick for the bug type pseudo legendary is. Heracross. <laughs> I didn't even know to go that crazy for that one. So, Heracross is a beautiful Pokemon. I just love him. Do I really need to say more? And just look at his Mega Evolution. Just look at it. I mean, just just, just admire it. Just look at it. But well, what do you want? Yeah, he's here, guys. Do I really need to say more? 
He's just a dope. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what to say about Eric Russell. He's just that good. I mean, he deserves to be pseudo. So let's move on, shall we? Okay, guys, before I continue, I just want to say, um... If you've not clicked the bell for notifications yet, make sure you do. Also, click that, uh, click that, uh, that subscribe, because I'm really close to 300 subscribers, and I'm doing something very special for my 300 subscribe subscriber special. So, make sure if you haven't subscribed yet, please click it. I need two more subscribers, and I will have 300 subscribers. So, let's move on, shall we? Alright, guys, so now we're moving on to the grass type. Pseudo legendary. Now, I was not expecting this one at, a, at the slightest. <laughs> I mean, when I when I found out this one had the, had the highest stats of the grass types, I'm like, wait, what? Cause I forgot how powerful this one, this Pokemon was. I mean, cause this is actually my favorite grass type. I think he's probably my second. But my first favorite grass type is actually Sunflower because that has a special place in my heart. But I didn't start using this one until Gen 4 came out, so I'm really excited to announce the grass type pseudo legendary, Mr. Tangrowth. So. Tangrowth has the highest stats of all the grass types in the series, which is unbelievable because Tangel is the complete opposite. He has some of the lowest stats, so the evolution is uh, is a, spectacular. Tangrowth not only can learn so many moves, but not only does he have the highest stats, and not, he has an awesome design. I mean, look at Tangrowth. He's just, he's a giant fucking plant that will whoop your ass. I mean, he's like Whiplash, except Pam, he's even, I don't know. He's one of the best evolutions, honestly, and he's underrated. So, Tangro, you've earned your spot here, buddy. You have the highest stats of the grass types. Good job, buddy. Except, let's get legendary. He's the highest stats that's not a legendary, so. Pretty awesome, I'd say. What's not to like about Tangro? Tangro is dope, so let's move on. Alright, guys, so this next one I'm about to say is, honestly, one of the most overpowered Pokemon in existence, and... And I don't really even understand why they even added him, because his evolution before was already powerful enough. But they decided to add him anyway, because, hey, why the fuck not? So, <laughs> so here we go, bros. This is the Rock-type Pseudo-Legendary, and honestly, one of the most powerful Pokemon in the fucking world. And his name is, you know who it is, right here. Ah, oh, man. Then. Oh, boy. Try to fight this guy's fucking ridiculous, so... <laughs> When Rhino wasn't enough, oh boy, let's evolve him again. Oh shit. Oh boy. So, what's there that I thought like about Rhyperior? Jeez. When you see this guy, you better fucking run. <laughs> he will destroy you, but... Point is, yeah, the only thing that can stop this guy is water and grass types. Anything else will get utterly demolished. So, you better fucking run if you see this guy. If, you're, if you don't have any grass types or water types, you are freaking screwed. There is no beating this guy without those, so... He is just overpowered as hell. <laughs> he, has, he has too many moves. He has a quick design. I just love him a lot. And honestly, I don't even think he's my favorite rock type. The one I'm about to say next actually is. So, get ready. I kind of gave it away. Okay, guys. So, the next Pokemon on this list. And I'm really excited to announce it. Because this is one of my favorite Pokemon. And my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Other than Blastoise. Because Blastoise is a starter. So... Here we go, bros. Are you ready for this? One second. Mr. Aerodactyl. I love Aerodactyl. So, yeah. Out of all the Pokemon I've probably listed on this, this guy probably deserves to be a pseudo more than anybody else. I'm just kidding. Gyarados, Tim, and the guy I'm about to say next definitely deserve it. So, Aerodactyl. What is there to say? I don't know. Honestly, I probably have more to say about Aerodactyl than I do about Lucario, but... <laughs> anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> Why is he not a pseudo? I'm really confused, guys. Like, <laughs> he is literally the fastest rock type. One of the fastest Pokemon in the entire series. What is there not to like about Aerodactyl? He is a dope Pokemon. There is nothing more to say. He has the best movesets. He has the best stats. He has the best typing. Oh my god, Aerodactyl. And when that wasn't enough, he got a Mega Aerodactyl who's even scarier looking. So, holy motherfucking shit. I love Aerodactyl. I don't need to say more because honestly, if I say more, I'm probably going to ramble. So let's keep going, guys. Sorry. Boy, I love Aerodactyl. Alright, guys. So this next one's the Ice-type Suda Legendary. And honestly, this is a super easy choice. Because this is one of the most popular Pokemon in the world. 
the most one of the most popular in Japan too, and it, he is known as the Ghost Surf to Surf Pokemon, the one that surfs, and his name is Lapras. Lapras. Lapras is probably the most beautiful Pokemon. I mean, he, he, she looks, or he, he looks like, like, Air, like, what's it, Loch Ness Monster or something? And the fact that he can beat, you know, so many different people, so many different Pokemon with his typing, I don't know, I mean, Lapras is just dope. He's just a dope Pokemon. And the fact that there's not that many of them, definitely we should make him a, le a pseudo-legendary, I mean. There's not that many Laprases in the world, in the Pokemon world, so, I love Lapras. And the fact that Lapras is based on the Loch Ness Monster should definitely make him a pseudo-legendary, I mean, really? Uh, nobody's ever seen the Loch Ness Monster. I'm just saying, so. Hey, Lapras, I love you, buddy. I, we were one of my first ones in Pokemon Go. You're beautiful. Keep up the good work. So, let's keep going, guys. Alright, everybody, we are down to the final two pseudo-legendaries on this list. Oh, wait. Sorry, did I say, did I say Rhyperior was the rock, uh, pseudo? Sorry, he's the ground pseudo, I'm sorry. This next guy is the rock pseudo. Let me just clarify, so give me one sec. Alright, so this guy is probably my second favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. And sorry if I made a mistake in the beginning where I said uh, Axorus was the only Gen 5 Pokemon on this list. I actually meant two, sorry. So, this is the Rock type pseudo, and his name is Gigalith. Gigalith! Gigalith! He's almost as cool as Alakazam! Alright, so Gigalith is my favorite Rock type, and probably my favorite. Second favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. Or more for Gigalith and Haxorus, if the Gen 5 probably would have sucked. So, <laughs> Gigalith is one of the best design Pokemon, has some of the best stats. He's a pure rock type, and he can do a bunch of shit. So, good job for you, Gigalith. And he's pretty popular. He has an underground following, so he's like the Boondock Saints. <laughs> so, yeah, Gigalith is dope. Let's keep going. Sorry. Alright, everybody, we are now down to the final pseudo legendary of my list, so. That deserve to be pseudo legendaries, and in my opinion, are pseudo legendaries. So, this is the only Gen 7 Pokemon on my list. And I know, sorry if I didn't list that many Gen 7s, I just don't think. I don't know much about Gen 7 to really put them on this list. Plus, I don't really, you know, I just don't think most of Gen 7 deserves to be pseudo, so that's just my opinion. But, this is the Gen 7 pseudo legendary, and the, the fairy type pseudo legendary. You all know him. You all love him. I love him. He's my favorite fairy type. And his name is Mimikyu. Mimikyu. Mimikyu does whatever Mimikyu does. He is OP as fuck. Look at your ass. Look at him. Look at Mimikyu. Yeah. Oh my god. This is an amazing Pokemon. I have one actually. And why is Mimikyu a pseudo legendary? Well, because they're really hard to find. Plus the fact that, I mean, their typing is awesome. They don't even need to evolve. They're like, you know, they don't even ever need to. They don't even need to make an evolution. They don't need anything. Mimikyu is awesome because he ma he makes fun of other Pokemon, and he's just a badass ghost type and the best fairy type. So, I love you, Mimikyu. Keep being you, man. You're awesome. I love you. So that's it, guys. All right, guys. So those are my picks for the pseudo legendaries. That my pseudo legendary list. So. Eh. So I want to see what you guys think. Comment down below and say, "Hey, Tate, what, what do you what do you think? What do you think about my list?" Honestly, I think this is the best list I've ever made. And honestly, these Pokemon should be all be pseudo legendaries. I mean, geez, especially Rhyperior, Tangrowth, and fucking what did I say, Ampros? I mean, I mean, there's so many on this list that are way more powerful than some of those other pseudo legendaries. I mean, geez, I don't really get it. But in fact, this is the thing: Tyranitar and Dragonite. Dragonite can be beaten by Ice, and Tyranitar can be beaten by Fighting. There's so many Pokemon that I could beat him. So like. What the fuck? But anyway... <laughs> like, I don't really get it, but alright, well... So, comment down below what you thought about my list, guys. Especially you, Shadow. But, if you haven't already, like, subscribe. I'm gonna do a 300 subscriber live stream pretty soon once I hit it. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing uh, DuckTales hopefully tonight, so... Awesome-rific. Also, I'll be doing Cancelvania Part 2 maybe tonight or tomorrow, so... Love y'all. And go catch some Pokemon, alright? Pokemon, gotta catch them all, I love those Pokemon. Pokemon, gotta catch them all, gotta love those Pokemon. Pokemon, gonna catch them all, I'm the greatest of them all.